Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Kimmy and today we are painting this door right here. I'm going to go ahead and take this off so y'all can actually see the door. But as you can see, it is white. We're going to be painting it the storm cloud blue color that we have throughout our house. And also, I am going to be doing a like front steps makeover so right now i literally still have my hay bales out there from fall so i need to clean it up a little bit and then i'm going to go to dollar tree so there will be a dollar tree haul in this video of like decorations and then i will actually like redo the front steps it's going to be so fun also we're going to be making the taco one pot taco pasta in this video so if you're excited for that and you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button help me get 20,000 subscribers and let's go ahead and get into this video we're gonna paint first There's a little bit of caulk around the door frame, so I'm just going to scrape off the bits that are on the outside. That way I get a really good paint job and don't have all this stuff over here. I got off as much as I could. Um, I was using a butter knife, but I could have also used a sanding, like just the sanding paper. That probably would have worked really well also by the way i did decide to paint the whole door including the little trim on the inside because whenever i shut the door and then the storm door is closed you can't see much of this like white part that's around the glass so i figured i'd go ahead and paint all of it just so it was very clear that it was painted the blue color and not just all white. So on the door, it is a little bit moldy up there in the corner from where we have had um, water damage. So we've decided to get an, I think they're called an awning, to go over the door. That way water just rolls off of that and it doesn't even go near the door. And then I think Erin was telling me that we would just clean that area and then paint over it <laughs> so like the landlord special i guess um because he was just really concerned about 
replacing like a door frame because if you get it wrong then you could have even more problems down the road so that's the plan and um, we are going maybe even tomorrow we're going to go to Lowe's and get paint and also a toilet which is random and some vinyl floor planks for the other bedroom in our house and the bathroom that has carpet in it so I'm pretty excited about that because once those two rooms are replaced with the planks we won't have any more of that old green carpet it will all have been gone and everything has been replaced with the like hard flooring except for our living room so we replaced that one with carpet but I'm just so excited that our house is like very close to being done with all the major projects and then everything else is just like fun things that we would want to do and um, of course like we do need to fix um, an area in our kitchen and then redo all the like outlets in the house because quite a few of them need to be redone but yeah almost all the big projects are done and that I can't wait to like get outdoors also during the spring and summer and do some updates outside as well. All right, y'all, it's still drying, but here is the door, and I wanted to share with y'all, it's going to look much lighter out here, um, how to get this stuff off, this paint. These, these right here. I remember my dad using this in a house that we lived in, in, um, Orlando, Tennessee, um, and they work so well. They're just blades, so... I'm going to use this and scrape off all the paint that got on the glass. After the paint dries, I'll just go back with a paper towel and get all those little um, strings that y'all can see hanging off.
All right, the door is all finished. I love how this turned out. I really like how it makes the glass look too. It makes the glass look even darker than before somehow. But now I'm just hanging up my wreath with lemons that I got from TJ Maxx. And then also I forgot to do the haul. I was just so excited to decorate. So I got this frog that says welcome and then I put that on there and then I put my lemon wreath on top of it and I thought well maybe let's try and see what it looks like with the wreath down first then this and I was like no looked better the first way so I put this frog back on there. Y'all I've never decorated with frogs before and let me just say I get it. It is so cute. I think I need to get a lot more frog stuff. <laughs> so let me know if you're a frog person. Um, but also let me know what kind of person you are. You ladybugs, butterflies, bees, frogs. I love um, bees. That's something that I have a lot of stuff and mushrooms, of course. But so I'm pulling out my welcome sign and then also. I have this other one with a cardinal and then the um, like fire hydrant thing. So those are more summer like to me, but I'm just going to go ahead and put them out now because the more the merrier. And then I'm going to start decorating with the things that I got from Dollar Tree. So those other two things I picked up last year from Gabe's um, and Okay, I lost my train of thought. Anyways, okay, so I grabbed these eggs with the little bunny ears. I thought those were so cute. All of this is from Dollar Tree, by the way. Sorry, y'all. Chloe started barking. Um, anytime I'm not in the living room, she just barks out the window for attention. <laughs> So now I'm putting up, I got a little boy and a girl and they're bunnies and they're holding, um, I think that one is holding a carrot and then the other one is holding something else. But um, yeah, all of this was from Dollar Tree. I think the only thing I paid more than $1.25 for were those picks with the bunny ears because they're larger. They were three dollars a piece because the dollar tree i went to was actually a dollar tree slash um family dollar and i i much prefer dollar tree to be honest i i really like their selection better um but i wanted to check out the store because i'd heard things about it so anyways i got these little like windmills that are so cute i got a yellow polka dotted ones and then the other one are purple pink and blue and also i put some carrot picks in there so i just kind of put as much stuff and filled it out that way it looks super festive and you can actually see it from the road so i'll do some shots for y'all so you can see everything I just love how this turned out. So cute. The only thing I would maybe change is getting a wreath that has more color to it um, for spring. But I'm happy with how it looks now. I also do want to update our like landscaping around this area. So maybe we'll do that during the summer. All right, I'm making my one pot taco pasta. I just got out a lot of the grease and I'm gonna start adding in all the other ingredients it says to do. This is literally one pot. So the meat, the noodles, everything's cooked in here. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is add this bag of shredded cheese. This is too good. Okay, y'all, don't be like me. Do not add the cheese until after the pasta is cooked. So I'm going to show y'all Velveeta cheese and shredded cheese. Just ignore those two things and, and um, until the very end. <laughs> You'll find out why later. Cups. And it says to use one cup of like mozzarella and then one cup of something else. I was getting my cat off the counter. So I'm just using a two cup bag of cheese. Okay, one cup shredded 
uh, cheddar, one cup Monterey Jack. So this one is the like Mexican cheese. So it's got Monterey cheddar. So it's exactly what we need. Okay. Then I'm going to add some Velveeta. It says four ounces of this. I'm try to guesstimate. <laughs> How much four ounces is this? This is a huge block of cheese. <laughs> and we only needed four ounces, which means one day I'm gonna need to make some Rochel dip. That is gonna be good. Okay. Four ounces of this. I'm just gonna that looks about right. Four ounces is half a cup. So, this definitely looks correct. I am just gonna, gonna break it up a little bit. Even though all this is gonna simmer in here, well, actually, it's gonna come to a boil. It says a tablespoon of butter. I've got this right here. This is probably two tablespoons, but I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah, it's two. I'm gonna go ahead and put this whole thing in there. All right, next thing we are going to add is the taco seasoning pack. It says one ounce. Okay, so it's the whole packet. I'm just using this Ortega one. And then I am going to add this um, can of Rotel, undrained, so the whole thing, there's not that much liquid in there anyway. Okay, then we're going to add two cups of broth. Her recipe says one cup beef broth, one cup chicken broth. But down below, it says that you could do whatever you wanted. Okay, so that's half of this. And I think this is so our pasta can cook. Alright, that feels about half. Then, I'm going to do two tablespoons of tomato paste. This is like a, it's not really a tablespoon, so I'm doing heaping, heaping ones. Well, it's about half the can of that. And then I am adding, okay, so there's no heavy whipping cream in this recipe. It's milk. All right. We are going to do one cup of whole milk. She says room temperature. I, I didn't leave it out, so um, we're just going to do it right now. <laughs> Okay. I'm just adding that in there. I mean, it will come to room temperature very quickly. <laughs> this does not look good right now, but it's going to be very good. Okay, what is next? I think we're almost done. Half a pound. This one is a whole pound, so half this box. Half a pound of medium pasta shells. I'm just gonna go ahead and kinda stir this up a little bit. And she put in there, which I'll have all these um, down below for y'all. I'm sorry y'all, I'm not right-handed, so my arm's always in the way. I'm left-handed. But there's a lot more room over here for y'all to stand versus on the other corner of me. So, oh man, I'm so excited for this. It's going to be so cheesy and so good. 
All right. But she said it's going to create a lot of liquid, so use the pasta. <laughs> okay, so half a pound of medium pasta shells. I have the little small shells, but okay, where would half the box would be like right here? All right, that's about half. So this is interesting. I have never, I've never cooked like this, have dry pasta in there. I got the mini, mini shells because they always seem to cook up a lot faster than the big ones. Okay, so we've got this. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Is what it says so I'm turning that up so she said to just follow the cooking directions so seven to eight minutes at a boil is what we're gonna do and then it's gonna simmer all right this is at a gentle boil which is what she said I always turn mine down to like seven which is medium high I think um, but she also says to cover it so I am covered right now and I see why because it pops everywhere <laughs> I'm so glad this is clean because I need to use it okay so what I like about this just cooking wise is once everything's in there and your noodles are cooking you just check your noodles to make sure they're done and then whenever you're ready to eat it you can eat it so she does say to like basically turn off the temperature and then it will kind of thicken up and then whenever it's like the consistency that you want go ahead and eat it this is going to be so good i'm also thinking that possibly this would be good with just those tortilla scoops without the pasta just have the scoops with it i think that would be great um but i'm pretty excited to eat this because i love taco anything so when I saw this one pot taco pasta, I was like, we gotta have this. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised there's not a ranch packet involved. She has found the top of the fridge. <laughs> Look how big she's getting. That's Margaret, that's the kitten. So big. Anyways, I messed up y'all. I was not supposed to put the cheese in here. <laughs> until the end and i'm like how is it supposed to boil and be covered and i'm over here burning stuff um that's what the black bits are <laughs> it's because the cheese isn't supposed to be added until the noodles are done so <laughs> don't do what i did <laughs> follow the directions to the cheese i was like let me go back and make sure this isn't my fault it was my fault. <laughs> it was. <laughs> so now uh, it's still boiling and I'm just stirring it the whole time. <laughs> I added a little bit more beef broth to mine, but it is done. It actually looks really good. It looks very similar to her photo. I keep saying her. I don't know who she is, y'all. It's just the lady that made the recipe, <laughs> um, which it will be linked. Um, but now I'm going to comment on the pan and be like, it turned out good. And I'm going to put, please make sure you read the directions. <laughs> and don't add the cheese. <laughs> I was just supposed to add the garlic and um, broth and milk and butter. And then add and the like everything except for the cheese. But y'all know how I am. I just dumped it all in there. Which it probably would have been fine if. I had went ahead and done the noodles on a different, like, in the other pot. But I've already tasted it. it. tastes really good. The thing that I would equate this to is Hamburger Helper. Like the, I think they do have a taco kind, but also the, the hamburger, like the cheeseburger one. It reminds me of that. Or the lasagna one. It kind of reminds me of that one. So, gives you that kind of vibe. Alright, y'all. We've got our pasta. I told them it looks reminds me of Hamburger Helper. 
And then I also made garlic bread.